When the 2016 NRL games kick off, you'll be able to see them here on NBC television as free to air and Digicel. This new arrangement was formalized in Port Moresby today, a partnership that has the backing of the government. I talked to the Minister for Sports, Justin Tachenko. Welcome back to PNG tonight, Minister. Thank you. Okay, this time we'll, we'll not wear the tourism cap, but we'll wear the sports cap this time. You as Sports Minister. Yes. Big announcement today, the NBC and Digicel, big announcement. They're getting NRL on board. Tell us about it, the arrangement, how it came about. Look, it's a, it's a fantastic opportunity where we see a private-public partnership. Okay. Government and private sector working together for the benefit of the people of Papua New Guinea in the name of sports. And especially when uh, Digicel has come on board to give NBC the rights to broadcast free of charge uh, to the people of Papua New Guinea to watch their favourite uh, NRL team. Mm. So um, it's a win-win situation, win for NRL and Rugby League, win for the people of Papua New Guinea. NBC can broadcast it free to air to our people around the country yes. and uh, they can watch uh, their favourite sport and uh, their favourite team play yeah. uh, on our own TV station. Big challenge to M NBC uh, with this new... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's great. It, NBC's growing. I mean, your TV station's uh, only young and, and it's still developing. Uh, this program as well is a testament to the development of current affairs. So when it comes to sports, um, it just shows you what can be done if everybody works together. Sure. And uh, Digicel went out there, they bidded for the uh, NRL rights uh, and they got it. Mm -hmm. Um, but they're willing to share and make sure our people um, can watch the game uh, yes. without fear it, or favour. Is the sharing conditional from the NRL that Digital had to partner with a free-to-air station rather than theirs? Or? Not at all, well, no. Yeah. Not at all. I mean, uh, they got their rights on their own and uh, they could do what they like with it. So at the end of the day, uh, we thank uh, Digicel for coming on board with uh, the government and mm -hmm. with uh, mm -hmm. NBC to allow our people to watch um, NRL um, in their own home, on their own TV, free of charge. Okay, so it's a business, uh, I think, proposal, a decision, I suppose, but people used to watch the game on MTV. What happened? Correct. I think, you know, um, MTV, they um, missed the plot on this okay. one. Uh, they, they missed their chance to uh, get um, the NRL bid um, and did you sell, beat them to it. You know, you've got uh, competition out there now, sure. so you have to lift your, your game yeah. and uh, be on the mark when it comes to uh, these sort of broadcast rights and that. And um, did you sell um, beat MTV to it? <laughs> and now they're willing to share with uh, NBC, which is fantastic. Are you able to say how much it's costing, it has cost did you sell to take it on board and how much it's expected to make <laughs> and how much it's a win-win situation, well, actually, how much does NBC well, actually, win? <laughs> well, true. I mean, no. I, I think um, Digicel would have paid uh, quite a hefty price sure, for the sure. rights. Mm -hmm. um, they'll get a lot of that back in their advertising and uh, that they do through uh, their programs, whether it's through the phone or through their, their um, own TV station. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, they have seen that uh, no matter what they paid for it, uh, they've seen that they need to do community service they need to come back to the people. I mean, it's for them, it's a, a very good ploy. It's a good yeah. tactic as well yeah. to give it to uh, NBC and give it free to air mm -hmm. and work with the government. And I think uh, they've done the right thing. Okay. Uh, NBC is a radio station. T television mm. came recently. Is the NRL, um, NRL will be shown on television, but will the audio track be mm. taken by radio? Well, that was discussed uh, today at the press conference of the announcement uh, of uh, NBC putting it uh, live to air to Papua New Guineans, and they spoke about uh, the issue of, well, can we put it, uh, use it uh, on radio as yeah. well? Because, yeah. of course, uh, NBC is... Then you're really put. getting to a lot That's of right, people. and um, from what Digicel stated, that they were very happy to consider that and work with the management of NBC to negotiate that and put that out on radio. Um, that is still in negotiation and I, and I can't see why that won't happen because uh, 
uh, Digicel is uh, not into radio as such, and um, really it uh, would be to both people's, uh, both companies' benefits to to do that. So, who knows? In in the near future, you'll uh, probably see that coming uh, through NBC. So we look yeah. forward to that. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, Minister, uh, rugby league is the national sport here. Um, everybody watches NRL, our own uh, PNG Kumuls and, uh, and the Hunters yeah. to the Interest Cup. With this arrangement and getting it across to the country, can that resonate into something a little bit more bigger for the Kumuls that maybe we can maybe one day get close to beating Australia or New Zealand or things like that? Is there a development thing that might come on later on? Look, um I think we can be proud to say with the hosting of the 2017 Rugby League World Cup, mm -hmm. the PNG Rugby League uh, have now um, really got their act together and uh, are putting in uh, all their efforts to have our Kumul team ready for the World Cup in 2017. So we've got something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. But I think at the end of the day, what uh, the Kumuls need is uh, runs on the board. And that is uh, they need to have uh, a lot of test matches and trial matches and practice matches uh, put in front of them um, so that they can get the experience to the lead up yeah. of uh, um, the World Cup in 2017. So practice makes perfect. Sure. And uh, the more games they play at the international level, the more experience they have. But the uh, Hunters uh, with the Intra Super Cup, uh, you know, basically gives a lot of those players uh, a foot in the door. And uh, we're seeing some of our players now playing for NRL teams mm -hmm. and uh, being accepted into that, which is fantastic. And they're the, the super uh, players that will be chosen into the future, I'm sure, but, but for some, the Cornwall see, team. Although, see, although uh, some of those playing for the NRL and in England, whatever, it's an individual development. Correct. It is their effort paying mm -hmm. off. The state's not helping in that, is it? Or no, no. Well, we're helping in... The, the, the national government's helping in the Hunters. We've yeah. committed for five years. We're in our fourth year now of right, sponsorship right. Yeah. Uh, for the Hunters. And the Hunters is the stepping stone. Sure. Sure. After the Hunters, you're a Kumu. That's right. And it's up to the individual, as you rightfully said, but, 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 to take okay. themselves to the next level. All right. The Hunters, uh, uh, after Hunters is Kumu, but what's before the Hunters? A pool of, I mean, a yeah. impetus cup, uh, the yeah, development stage. That's right. Mm -hmm. We've got the Junior Rugby League already coming up, and that's been well set up by the uh, PNG Rugby League and through the NRL too, with the Australian Government uh, is uh, sponsoring. But... Um, we've now got a career path for future rugby league stars and uh, that's something that we never had before when our government first took over, when I first took over as Minister in 2012. We've now set a career path in place for a young, inspiring Papua New Guinean to be a Kumu. Yeah. So he starts off in the local league and then he can go up into the Digicel Cup or he can be in the PRL or the local Ipatas Cup and then the selectors will look at them then to take them up into the Hunters mm -hmm. um, and then to be a Kumu. So there is a career path from point one, from number one all the way up to, uh, to be a Kumu. So we've, we've got that path set now. We never had that before. So when people complain and said, oh, we're 14th or 15th or 12th on the ladder, <laughs> or ranking when it comes to Papua New Guinea, um, they must realise that um, when we took over in 2012, our government and when it came to sports, rugby league was in total disrepair. We had to start again. We had to start again. We had to get the systems and the mechanisms and the management in place mm -hmm. to get the ball rolling again. Okay. And, I've, you know, we've got so many people to thank to that came on board to make it happen and to where Rugby League is now in the last three years. Yes, yes. So this is, this is going to take uh, time um, and uh, these things don't happen overnight. But uh, we're heading in the right direction and I look forward uh, to seeing the uh, Kumuls uh, in the future being much better off ranking than they are now. Uh, but we must remember where they were and where they've come from to get to where we are now. Mm -hmm. So more practice matches, more test matches, 
get the experience and we look forward to the Rugby League World Cup 2017 October here in Port Moresby. Okay, Minister, we're running out of time. All happening for Rugby League. Uh, we wish uh, this court the best, I suppose. Absolutely, I and, and you know, it's, a, it's puppeting in his number one sport yeah, no, and uh, we just embrace it and we go with it. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, Minister. Thank, Thank you for you. talking to us. Thank you. Sports Minister Justin Tchenko. After the break, we'll show you the new face of Teleforman in the West Civic Province.